August 2022 walk around video of the 1978 Camaro Z28 factory color dark caramel metallic factory four speed car 373 rear gear ratio has the super T10 all aluminum high performance transmission they say is as strong or stronger than the Muncie M22. Has the 350 engine with the four barrel quadrajet. The original factory mag wheels in excellent condition. Has the functional um, air induction, cold air induction system on the air cleaner. This car was ordered without air conditioning and without T-tops. It was sold new at Grossman Chevrolet in Minneapolis, Minnesota. That guy needs to get his exhaust fixed on that old work truck going by. I've had two different paint and body people look at this car and um, they've had the consensus that the paint is um, probably either all original or mostly original. So most, possibly all of the paint on the car is what was put on by GM back in 78. The door shut nicely, the gaps are good. It's believed to be an all original sheet metal car. So of course, you know, the door, the door gaps and stuff are all consistent. I don't see any, any evidence of filler or bondo in the car. Trunk gaps and all that are nice. The trunk uh, opens and closes real nice. All the gaps, as you can see, are real nice on both sides of the car. The seals are still, you know, pliable and not all blown out, tore. This car has 44,582 original miles four-speed car has rear defog as you can see how nice the door shut still has the it's hard to with the sunlight capture this but it still has the inspection Stickers in the door. This other. So it's the factory sticker here with the GM part number on the radiator plate. Has the uh, Born factory distributor, carburetor, intake manifold, cylinder heads, engine block. The VIN is matching in the block and the transmission. Um, still has the inspection spot. There the pink dot. 
by GM on the booster. It's a power steering car, which is nice. Hood fits and shuts nicely. The uh, trim is believed to be original in good shape for its age. Lenses seem to be in good shape. The seat covers are believed to be original. In good condition. Door panels are pretty much everything in the the interior is believed to be born original except for a I've talked to the prior owners going back even to the original owner Gary Heenan and uh, the shifter ball is replaced and um, this was a radio delete car I believe uh, the original owner told me from the factory so he put in the back in the late 70s early 80s this uh, cassette player headliner is in good shape still has the um, the color of the car, you know, decals on the door handles. The trunk in here is like amazing. Um, I believe that's the factory spare installed from the factory. The factory decal is still here on the trunk lid. The trunk lid's in real nice condition with what I'm confident is the factory paint. The trunk, there's no no rust whatsoever in here. It's I don't think anything was ever ever really put in this trunk at all since the car was new. It's in really nice shape. I mean, if you look at like the, it might be hard to see with the light, but you know, it's got the the factory paint in here with the factory uh, undercoating and even the little wire connections and things are in nice shape. It's got the jack, the spare. Trunk closes real nice. Don't have to slam it. Underside of the car's real nice. Um, floors, floor pans are 